Hey everybody, and welcome back to the office for Q of the Day. Uh, it's Saturday, so a little more of a casual day. But uh, what I have, it, it's not really, really a question, but it is a, an email that was sent to me by Espartano171. And he or she uh, states, uh, on another topic, and he's talking about this, this thing that we were talking about as far as like putting money into, or your US dollars, into stable coins during the uh, instability. So he says, on another topic, you had a key point in the crypto space, which is putting your money into stable coins, when the markets are volatile. I have a personal experience to share, which is he put, he or she put CRO, CRO in crypto.com. He said when I bought it, he said he spent 1100 almost $1,150 when it was a nickel in value. So, you know, hey, pretty good, right? Uh, locking those funds into the three month term certificate of deposit at 18% PA or per annum. So uh, that is how much he's gonna make per year, 18%. So you know, not that much, but a hell of a lot better than any bank you're gonna get, I'll tell you that right now. And he, he or she states, it, it made me 3X on my money, uh, $3,159 uh, thanks to appreciation, and $120 in interest. So total capital gain was uh, $3,159 plus $120 <clears throat> minus the original investment. So it came out to about $2,000, $2, which is 286% in gains. And he talks about uh, another, another deposit I had with Tether. It was 8% per annum, and it made me $17 on interest, uh, which is pretty awful. So when I was first reading, I was like, well, I mean, you know, 18% per annum is pretty good. But of course, the big gains were putting it into uh, cryptocurrency digital assets. And when I first looked at it, I was a little bit confused. I'm like, what well, was this, uh, the actual per annum, what were you got? But of course, it was just the certificate of deposit. So what it says to me is that if you're able to do this, which I think would be kind of tough, uh, especially with the way that our brains work, right? Uh, which I talked about yesterday. It would be tough to just buy cryptocurrency digital assets and just put it into an Anna ledger or into a wallet, uh, hopefully a cold storage, right? And then just forget about it for, for uh, uh, at least a minimum of three months and then just see what happens with it. I got to tell you, um, from the beginning of, of this year, of 2020, if I would have, well, actually, I kind of did it. I mean, I just don't, I don't really sell anything. But just to put your money in 2020 into uh, cryptocurrency and then open it up right now, I mean, where would you be? You, you'd do pretty well. Uh, or in March, and if you could do something like that, and then off you go. So I think if you're looking for like these these monstrous gains and uh, to, to go everywhere, I mean, you can you can look for the new DeFi thing or you can look for uh, the new hot topic or the new shiny object. But I think the best way is just to, you know, a simple strategy, which would be, you know, just make an investment, put it into a wallet that could be a percentage yielding account. Um, my two big ones are Voyager and Celsius. Um, because, I mean, you could just live off, off the interest if you have enough. Now, granted, it's going to take you a lot, of, a lot of money, depending on where you live, like I talk about. If you're in Costa Rica, you don't need that much. If you're in Upper Manhattan, you need a lot of money. So it just really depends on, on, on how you get it. But, I mean, if you're looking at, like, interest rates of, like, 8%, 10%, 12%, and, you know, you've made a lot of money in the cryptocurrency market, I mean, it's feasible that it could actually happen. I just am waiting for that moment, and... Um, I've got nothing but time, so might as well just sit on the investment and see what happens. Anyhow, uh, let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Uh, let's jump back. All right, hope that answered some questions. So to finish up, I just want to let you know that there's a join now button underneath. It's not like you get anything special. It's just like a tip. It's like a buck ninety nine. And uh, what I do is I just give out random shout outs. So random shout outs to Regina Halasinski, Justin Ross, Doug Lemley. Who else we got? Carlos Gomez, GK, SML. As Rails Passage, I think I nailed that one, and Gene Holland. I just want to say thanks to everybody who has signed up. Really appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, there's going to be two more that's going to pop up in your left and right. Not for sure. I'm going to try to get the other one, but uh, that's what we got. So if you like those, go ahead and check those out. And that's it for today. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.